So now we've got some long division questions. So we have 888 divided by 37. So we're going to need to work out our 37 times table. 37 is 1 times 37. Then if we add another 37, we get 74 for 2 times. Add another 37, we get 111 for 3 times. Another 37, that's 148 for 4 times. And if we add one more 40, 37, we get 185 for 5 times. And we can be confident that we haven't made a mistake in our calculations, because 5 times any number always ends in a 5 or 0. And here we can see that 185 ends in a 5. Now we could keep going with working out our 37 times table, but it's a good idea to stop here and look at the question, because you might not need anything above 5 times. And for these questions here, we don't. We just need to work out our times tables up to 5 times, and then we can use the long division method to find our answer. So, taking the first two digits together, we have 88 divided by 37. We can see that the closest multiple of 37 to 88, which is still less than 88, is 2 times. That's 74, and because 74 is 2 times 37, we need a 2 in our answer line. Now we're going to subtract and bring down. 8 minus 4 is 4, 8 minus 7 is 1, and we bring down the 8, so we have 148 divided by 37. We can see that 4 times 37 is exactly 148, so the last digit of our answer is 4. We've not got any other digits to bring down, so our answer is 24. Now, 714 divided by 17, so we need our 17 times table. 17 is 1 times, Add another 17, and that gives us 2 times. Another 17, we know that 51 is 3 times. Add another 17, 68 is 4 times. And add another 17, we get 85 for 5 times 17. And we can be fairly confident that we haven't made any mistake in our calculation, because remember, 5 times always ends in a 0 or a 5, and 85 ends in a 5. Now, rather than carrying on, we can look back at our question. Taking the first two digits together, we have 71 divided by 17. So we need to find the number that's closest to 71, but still less than 71. We can see here that's 68, so we write that underneath. And because 68 is 4 times 17, we write 4 in our answer line. Now we subtract and bring down. We can't, so 71 minus 68 is 3, and we bring down the 4, so we have 34 divided by 17. We can see that that's exactly 2 times 17, so the last digit of our answer is a 2. So 714 divided by 17 is 42. Now, 3016 divided by 13, so we need our 13 times table. 13 is 1 times, add another 13, 26 is 2 times, add another 13, 39 is 3 times, 52 is 4 times, and 65 is 5 times 13. It ends in a 5, so we can be confident that we've got the correct working out. Now, if we take the first two digits together, we have 30 divided by 13. Now, the closest number to 30 that's still less than 30 is 26. So 26 goes underneath, and because that's 2 times 13, we need 2 in our answer line. Now, we subtract and bring down. So 30 minus 26 is 4, and we bring down the 1, so we have 41 divided by 13. Now 39 is the closest number to 41 that's still less than 41. So we write 39 underneath, and because that's 3 times, we write 3 in our answer line. Now we subtract, 
41 minus 39 is 2, and we bring down the 6, so we have 26 divided by 13. We can see that that's exactly 2 times, so we have 2 in our answer. So 3016 divided by 13 is 232. Now 725 divided by 29. So we need our 29 times table. So 29 is 1 times. And rather than adding 29, it's probably easier for us to add 30 and then subtract 1. So if we add 30, that would be 59. Subtract 1 is 58 for 2 times. Then we can do the same thing for 3 times, 4 times, and 5 times. And when the last digits are 9, you can spot the pattern that the times table makes. So the 1's digits is going down in 1's, and the 10's digit is going up in 3's. And that's because 29 is 1 less than 30. So now that we've worked out our 29 times table, at least up to 5 times, we can look back at our question. Taking the first two digits together, we have 72 divided by 29. Now the closest number to 72 that's still less than 72 is 58. So we write the 58 underneath, and because that's 2 times, we write 2 in our answer line. Now we have 72 minus 58. Here I would use the column method, so we can't do 2 minus 8. Go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 12 minus 8 is 4, 6 minus 5 is 1, and we need to bring down this 5. So we have 145 divided by 29. We can see that that's exactly 5 times, so 5 is the last digit of our answer. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.